Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to everyone, especially those new subscribers. I do have a few lately and I hope you enjoy the content. If you have any suggestions about content, please leave it in the comments below. Nice positive comments are always appreciated. So today's video is a bit of a crafting life catch up, which isn't very much because I have said before, I'm extremely busy with thing away all the extra chores I have to do. So first off the ranks, I was doing a blanket during Eurovision and um, for charity and I have finally finished it. Here it is. Ta -da! This was my bright Eurovision blanket. I um, did the brick stitch. This is a tutorial by Bag O Day. There'll be a link in the description below this video you can check it out it's really easy it looks lovely um, because there were a lot of ends on the row uh, ends on loose ends on the ends I decided I'd do an envelope border in grey and close them all in because it's for charity and when they launder it I don't want the ends coming apart but I really do like the brick stitch if you can see that I do two rows then I do a bit of grey I'm not sure I should have done that, but anyway, it's turned out really colourful and well. It's one of the smaller charity blankets I make. Normally with this size, I like to make a matching beanie, which I have done. So what I did was I used, like I've been doing the um, bod hat a palooza with Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming and picked up a few tips along the way and to do a beanie I did sort of like the basic of one beanie by crystal I knew what the multiples were to put the brick stitch so I then did some feature rows one of each color of the brick stitch some double crochet in the red because I'd started in the red finish in the red and then I did a gray border in single crochet like a, a brim gray brim now that is the gray I'd used but when I got to the brim I had run out and I didn't want to go and buy more yarn and this is some gray I had left over from the Bilby kit and it's a pretty close match you can't really tell and that's what I use this is all um, eight ply three weight yarn same as the blanket um, all spotlight marbles um, eight ply four seasons eight ply which I have a lot of and um, see it's not really reversible it's that way for the brick stitch and then you get that's the back of it it's not too ugly on the back you could use it reversible if you wanted to but yes the idea at the beginning of the year was to use up a lot of my Marvel eight ply because I do have a lot of it so that's two things I have made using that yarn. Um, so yeah, the hat itself, I, I did decide to make it a little slouchy because the brick stitch is quite a solid stitch. So to get a bit of a drape on the beanie rather than a real stiff, I did the slouchy look. But um, bod hat a palooza, what can I say? You're inspiring me to come up with my own designs. So next june's hooker versus hooker yes i love hooker versus hooker i like watching the lives i always get a great laugh it's just easy going and fun so june was the project was footwear which sort of freaked me out a bit the colors were green teal pink orange and yellow one two three four five five colors now I'll put photos at the end of the blanket and beanie and my hooker versus hooker footwear. So I had all the colors. I used Spotlight um, Super Saver, very similar to Red Heart, probably a little thicker sometimes, depending on the color. However, what did I make? Well, we had flooding around Christmas and we had rain upon rain upon rain. Recently, we've had lovely fine weather and it's been, for us, quite cool. 25 Celsius is max. Today, it's a little warmer. It's up around 27, but you can feel we're going to get more rain. 
We had so much rain, I had friends making the comment, have you got web feet yet? So that's what inspired my hooker versus hooker project. I decided to make some duck feet slippers. Um, it's a paid for pattern on Ravelry. Unfortunately, I printed it in black and white at home. We had to get a new printer and we didn't bother with color. So yes, they're the slippers. I can't remember what I paid, but there will be a link to the description in the um, box below for you to check out this pattern if you want to make some duck slippers. Now, before we show you mine, they look similar, but I realized after I made the first one and went to make the second one that I had made a mistake, but I continued on. I thought, no one will know but me. And they do fit me really well. And because it's been quite cold at night for us, 13 Celsius, my feet have been freezing and I love these slippers. So, do you want to see mine? Da -da, da -da, there's my duck feet slippers. Da -da. So I'll tell you why I did coloured painted toenails. I'll just hold up one. So this is the green and that's the dark teal which is what I asked Reeves about. Would you call that teal? And he said it's the dark teal. He can get lighter, but that is dark teal. And it's very different to the green. So that's the green, which is really soft. The teal is not so soft. There's the yellow, a bit more teal. Pink, a bit more teal. Orange, a bit more teal. And that's what it looked like finished. And then I thought, oh, let's get creative. So I gave my duck feet slippers some painted toenails. So there you have it. My hooker versus hooker for June. My duck feet slippers because it rains so much. And they are lovely and warm, super comfortable. So when I'm sitting on the lounge at night, crocheting, watching television, or just sitting there crocheting, knitting, I've got my slippers on at the moment because it's pretty cold. I really liked making them, but it wasn't until I went to make the second one that I realized what I'd done wrong. If I ever make them again, I'll try and make them exactly to the pattern. There's me thinking, oh, these are really easy. And then I realized, uh oh, oh, but never mind. They look okay, they fit me well, and they're pretty damn cute. So that was my hooker versus hooker for June. And on the weekend, there was a live to announce July, the colours for July and what the project was. Now, they always seem to surprise me. I was really surprised at footwear. And lo and behold, July is a pillow or cushion. And I'd been looking at pillow and cushion patterns for another project I wanted to do. And so I was like, oh, but... With July, there aren't enough colours for me to do the other project. I need a lot of colours. So I will have to find a pillow or cushion pattern for July. I'm, I'm going to try and find a free one, not keep buying patterns. Um, I know that the duck feet wasn't very much, but I think I'm going to try and alternate, buy one, maybe use a free one. And there are lots of cushions out there you can use. So, the colours for July are black and white. So I have Red Heart Super Saver black and white. You don't need to see those. Then there's teal. Ta da I have more teal. Yes, they are the same. And I think for the cushion I've been sort of tossing around, I'll have enough with those two. There's oh, about 120 grams there. And then there's the colour peach. So yet again, I went to my colourist consultant, my son Reeves, who's a graphic designer, and said, is this peach? He said, it's not dark enough to be orange, um, apricot, and it's probably a little too dark for peach, but it will do. Peach is usually a little lighter. So that's the colour I'm going to use, because the whole idea for me this year is to use as much of my yarn stock as I can. So they'll be the two feature colours, sorry I shook the camera, with black and white for a pillow. If you have any 
pillow suggestions preferably free patterns please share the link in the description below I'd be interested because it's not a big color range but it can be effective in the right pattern so that's all I've done for my crafting life as far as finished objects I have worked on some whips I was working on my craft fair jumper and then I got to the white now I bought all the yarn in one hit from the UK but for some reason the white is a bad batch I did start to knit with it but it was splitty and thin and even Reeb said it looks terrible so I had to frog it I did buy another brand of white but I don't know if I'll be finished in time first week of July to have it ready for the craft fair and I'm not sure I'd want to enter it anyway. I don't know if I'll enter this year or not. I sort of lost track of the craft fair and I was really keen on entering this jumper but now it doesn't quite look the way I want it to using different brands of yarn. But it is a ply but the, the white I've actually ended up using is a little thicker. Now the yarn I got from the UK I never have any issues but I must admit this is the first time I bought the white. I admit, was going to bring a little bit in to show you how bad it was, but not to worry. So craft fair wise is stalled a bit because I became a little disheartened because it is quite an involved knitting project. But then I worked on my cafe beverage cardigan, which I really want to get finished to take away with me in September. So that's my plans for this week do more work on my cafe beverage card cardigan I'm actually knitting um, thing a cowl dicky thing for when I go to the UK and meet up with him it's been it's I shouldn't laugh it's been really cold in Spain he went for the summer and the beaches and the sun but every time we, he talks on WhatsApp via video. He's rugged up because he really feels the cold. Anything below 25 Celsius is freezing for thing. So yeah, unfortunately, it's not as warm as he thought. He actually had to go out and buy some winter clothes. But it, it was always the plan that what I would make him a beanie and a cowl dicky thing for when I met up with him in the UK. He had one last year in Scotland and when we left, we washed it and donated it to charity and I just said to him I'll just make you another one I've got plenty of yarn and it gives me something to do so I've started that so my cafe beverage cardigan my project for thing and then I am trying to put together and finish my shutterbug projects for my make along which finishes June 30th with a prize draw on the uh, 1st of July and I'd like to have mine finished to show you so they're the plans to work on whether I have enough time or not is another thing um, Saxon the dog isn't as clingy he's getting better uh, but yes I must admit he's out there with a Kong with a chicken meatball in it that I made for him to keep him happy um, that's it guys it hasn't been that much of a week of crafting it's been a lot of finishing a lot of basic things but let me know what do you think of my duck feet with painted toenails be honest if you don't like them that's fine but I think they're pretty cute and I'm happy with that and I really enjoyed making the slippers and I think I'm going to enjoy making a pillow when I find the pattern I want to do so until next time stay safe stay well let me know in the comments below what you've been working on i like to read them it does inspire me to try something new not that i haven't got enough whips on the go anyway i will talk to you next time make sure you have one crafty day bye for now